a misleading Time magazine cover of President Trump looming over a crying migrant girl has exemplified the media's eagerness to portray the administration's immigration policies in the harshest possible light. But it seems the iconic magazine treated the Obama administration with comparative kid gloves over similar practices and with covers focused instead on manopause and butter. Pulitzer Prize winning photographer John Moore captured the iconic photo of a two-year-old Honduran girl crying as her mother was detained along the U.S.-Mexico border. For time and others, she quickly became the face of a zero-tolerance policy that had resulted in children of detained illegals being separated from their parents. The July 2nd edition of the magazine features a cover complete with Photoshop version of Trump looking down on the crying girl with the caption, Welcome to America. The dramatic image seems designed to illustrate the outrage surrounding Trump's now-reversed policy. Unfortunately for time, the girl's father told the Daily Mail that his wife and daughter were not actually separated in an interview published after the magazine cover went viral. Time is standing by the cover, but many observers feel the damage has been done. Far more people have seen the image and made conclusions based on this than will ever read the Associated Time article, or for that matter, any article dealing with the actual border situation, media analyst Jeffrey McCall told Fox News. This cover has circled the internet and the globe, and no doubt has made a tremendous rhetorical impact. The cover's accompanying article was headlined, A Reckoning After Trump's Border Separation Policy. What kind of country are we? The feature by Carl Vick points out that Trump doesn't use the term democracy too often, scorns relationships with other world leaders, and paints a disturbing picture of life for the children under the cold care of the federal government. Conservative, conservative strategist Chris Barron told Fox News that other outlets were quick to pick up the provocative time cover, which was splashed across everything from cable news to social media. We live in an ADD America. The cover image was a story for all intents and purposes, Barron said. Vic's feature is extremely hard on Trump and even mentions that President Barack Obama deported more immigrants than any previous president had to, and detained families. But the jab at Obama is a stark contrast with the way immigration was covered during the previous administration. During the 2014 Obama-era immigration crisis, topic was never deemed important enough to grace the magazine's cover. There were no cover images of crying children as topics such as the power of Taylor Swift, menopause, and Butter's benefits to good health occupied a coveted journalist real estate. Indeed, Obama managed to avoid the cover of Time magazine altogether in 2014, not appearing even once. The summer of 2014 saw a spike in, in illegal immigration, commonly unaccompanied children at the Mexican border, and Obama famously waited until after Election Day to take executive action. While the president avoided the cover, the immigration crisis of the day did make the inside pages of the prestigious magazine. Following Obama's executive actions in November 2014, when he announced that 5 million undocumented immigrants living in the U.S. illegally would avoid deportation, the magazine boasted that his potential successor, Hillary Clinton, applauded the decision. Another feature headlined, Legal scholars, Obama's immigration actions lawful, touted a group of 10 academics who penned a joint letter to the White House. Other articles were published that covered Republicans arguing about Obama's response, GOP governors blasting the executive action and a featured headline, No Good Intentions for GOP on Obama's Immigration Move. The political left, compromised with the Democrats and the mainstream media, have an established pattern of immediately rushing to push emotion-based narratives before all the facts come out, the Daily Wire media reporter Brian Saavedra told Fox News. Saavedra said that many people are too lazy to read beyond the cover, and therefore a lot of damage can be done with a misleading one, something Obama did, didn't have to worry about back in 2014. Time has stories? Does anyone care? The covers of these magazines go viral and get picked up on TV. That's all, that's all it is, smoke and mirrors, Media Research Center Vice President Dan Gagner retorted when asked if the cover images are important, more important than the content inside a magazine these days. A quick search for the word immigrants on the official website of Time yields more than 7,000 results with several recent articles featuring disturbing images of children involved in the Trump era crisis. The Obama era doesn't appear to have many photos accompanying its coverage, 
apart from the images of the president himself. The crisis in humanity at the border has been going on for years, but Time is clearly making an editorial statement at this juncture by choosing to cast Trump as the boogeyman for all the immigrant, all the immigration ills, Paul said. As for the young girl that graces the cover, with the menacing Trump staring down at her, psychotherapist and author Jonathan Alper told Fox News that the impact of being a symbol of the president's zero-tolerance immigration policy will most likely follow her for the remainder of her life, but he's unsure if that's a bad thing. We've seen similar photos in the past, such as Elian Gonzalez, he said, referring to a Cuban engineer who, as a young boy in 2000, became embroiled in a heated international custody and immigration controversy involving the governments of Cuba and the United States. With older people, being the face of a national crisis can potentially and unwillingly thrust someone into a spotlight that could be overwhelming and pressure is great, or quite the opposite, Albert said. That person might rise to the opportunity and use such a platform in a productive and helpful way. Time provided the following statement when asked about the girl on the current cover not actually being separated from her parents. The June 12th photo photo photograph of the two-year-old girl became the most visible symbol of the ongoing immigration debate in America for a reason. Under the policy enforced by the administration, prior to its reversal this week, those who crossed the border illegally were criminally prosecuted, which in turn resulted in the separation of children and parents. Our cover and our reporting capture the stakes of this moment. While the magazine stood by its controversial cover, a, mis a very misleading one, a, co a correction was made to its website. It said, the original version of the story misstated what happened to the girl in the photo after she was taken from the scene. The girl was not carried away screaming by U.S. Border Patrol agents. Her mother picked her up and the two were taken away together. <laughs>